So somebody watching out there should look out for you because you're single. That's exactly what you're trying to mean. No. Mm. Are you not searching? No. <laughs> Tina, I'm, 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 not <laughs> I'm seeing you. I'm not searching. <laughs> but I you're single. single mm. But I'm not searching. How do you manage to handle, uh, you know, situations of celebrities? One, you're bashing them on air. Yes. You understand? That yes. could possibly put your life at risk or in danger. It has. It mm. has in so many ways. Mm. Some weird things have happened around me, not necessarily to me. They were intended for me. But you see, when I decided to take up this job, I knew I could handle myself. I knew I can handle whatever comes with the job. All right, welcome back to my channel. Dennis Duke is my name. And like I told you, this month is going to be a little bit diff different. Yes, from what you've been, of course, getting. Hey, now I have decided to hook out these particular persons, the celebs, your celebrities within town, but of course far, far, far and beyond. And today I have none other than Tina Fierce, the gossip queen. If you want to know anything happening in the Uganda entertainment industry and beyond, the other person you should always look out for, apart from me of course, is Tina Fierce. Welcome to my show, Tina. Thank you. Wait. Were you recording me trying to untangle my hair? Of course. That's how crazy you are. <laughs> do, you, do you realize that she's even crazy on air? <laughs> What's up? How are you? I'm okay. How are you? It's been a while. Well, Stop come. greeting me like as though we don't know each other. We are bad days. You we are bad this. days? We are bad days. How are you, Tina? I'm good. Check how have you been? It's been a long, 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 long time without it's seeing you. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Mm -hmm. A couple of months, actually. How is work? Same old. Taking names, taking heat, the usual. Can we call you the Gossip Queen? I mean, no, not mm -hmm. really. Wali wapa kaza basi ngo lugambe yu they copied it from you. Bani, yu lugambo na yu wabuli jo na unesipulimu wano lugambo. Not you? Lugambo is a way of life. Tina, I have seen you for quite long. Yeah. And really, really, when I say long, it's not about five years. Yeah. It's about seven years. Yeah, more than How that. old are you? Uh, well, like you hear these people say around here, Zendi Mumiaka Java Vampire. <laughs> Just know I'm way, way older than you. You're in uh, MC Cuts League? How do you think Somebody. You MC Cuts know each other? Somebody wants to know how old, wants to put an, uh, an age to that. Just get MC Cuts' age, uh, Flavia Tumsime's age. Those are, the, those are my peers. When I, joined, when I joined the industry, those were the people we were kind of all in at the same time. Okay. Yeah, so we are all. So where? Let's, let's not even talk about uh, where you are now. Let's start from where you started. I first started seeing you, I think, on, NB on NTV. Yeah. But where did you start? Somebody might have started. missed. Uh, at, N at NTV? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's been what? It's coming to... Oh, shit. It's been 14 years, almost. Time 14 flies. years Time in the flies. business. In the business, in the industry. So how do you join NTV, a station that, uh, you know, many people consider... It's one of those stations that uh. is hard to enter into in uh. the media industry. Well, and I'm back then, 14 years ago. Yes, wow. it was even harder. It was harder. Mm. How did I end up there? I was drunk. Mm -hmm. With a couple of friends, we had there was an interview. Mm -hmm. I showed up, I got the job. Just like that? Yep. Okay, that means you're very, very vibrant. Lucky you're lucky or you're just vibrant? No, I'm a very lucky, blessed girl. What age were you then? Okay, you forgot. You, you, <laughs> you, 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 you forget, I am good at QA. I can put it like this. So, 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 in, were you still at school? No, mm -hmm. I wasn't at school. You had gotten done with school already? My hope, like if I was to tell my entire story from the jump, it takes me way back, it's too much information. Mm. All you need to know is that then when I joined TV, mm. I was looking for something different to do. I was, I was... I have worked my entire life. I started paying my own tuition at the age of 15 and looking after my brother and my father at the age of 15 to debt. I can't even get into that story now. That's, you know. So for me, after I, I, I had my firstborn, I felt like, oh. I mean, you've done it all. You've worked in bars, you've bartended, you've, you've 
done it all. I, and on top of that, you've grown your father's legacy. Try something. It, what, TV wasn't something I actually wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I had peers and friends and family come and tell me, T, you'd be so good on TV, you'd be so good on TV. But I never saw that for me, in a way. So I think that's why it took drunken courage for me to show up at an audition. But here I am. Okay. So, so Tina, you now join TV, but we've missed a little bit on your earlier life. Where did you go to school to? Where did you grow up from? I mean, people need to know some of these things because they only see you on TV and they don't know exactly. And, and I think that's the most beautiful thing about life, if they just see you in a one track. Mm -hmm. Because people just don't know how to discern from the people they see on TV and when you meet them in person. And I remember the last time I ever, ever tried, that was years ago, and I learned my lesson. That's why, if you notice, there's not that much about me that goes into circulation. That's why people are always asking, well, how old is she, or what school did she go to, or is she married, or who's her baby father? Mm. Because for me, I live by one creed. Scarcity is equals to value. Mm. That's why, if you notice, I, have, I barely have... TV ads, I barely have billboards, I'm barely anywhere. Scarcity equals the value. So I never really let on a lot about my life because I feel like that is the one thing I can own mm. and control. I have talked about my life once and I'm never going to do that again because <laughs> it was one thing I, I said, okay, today. Mm. Let me open up. Let me open but, up. But someone is wondering, which school did you go to? You speak quite good English. Quite good English. Yes. First of all, let me send a shout out. Mm. To all the old G's and all these mm -hmm. of Chiswa Primary School. Chiswa Primary School. Bugolobi. Okay. I was born and raised in Bugolobi. I'm a city girl mm -hmm. all through and through. And then as for my other lives, uh, I went to all the schools. I think I was expelled from a, a school each time. You were stubborn? No, I was mm. actually not, a, not stubborn. I was rebellious. Okay, you had I a big just, head in, 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 in today's time. I don't like... I don't know how, I don't like, I, I can't stand up to authority anytime because from the age of 15 I was pretty much my own authority. So if it doesn't add up to me, not mm. I'm disrespectful, but if it doesn't add up to me and with me, I'll challenge authority. Okay. That's how, I That's how you ended up. Well, that is it. You, you st we are still talking to Tina Fias. For those that have just joined us, yes, my name is Dennis Duke. Why? Why, why should I even introduce myself? Because all these show. people know. <laughs> yes, they already know me. And it is your face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Tina, um, what were you doing at NTV? Um, now, at, at NTV, mm. here is the trick. I didn't even know what role I was auditioning for because I remember it was a casting call. There was tons of people. But none of us knew what they were really auditioning for. And um, I remember four days after I'd gone for the audition, mm -hmm. three producers from the same station all called me individually. I was kind of a power struggle. I remember even now we still laugh at it. Because mm -hmm. um, uh, there were three of them and each called me and they're like, so and so is also going to call you. Eh? Mm -hmm. But if they call you, just tell them, and I didn't know how to decide. But I guess after a while when everyone told me what it is that they were in charge of, it was easy for me to go into Q&A because mm -hmm. I am a social butterfly even if I am not social. So Q&A, very simple. I know how to make people comfortable around me easily. Mm -hmm. So I decided to do Rendezvous. It was still celebrities, their musical journey, their likes and dislikes. Flip the script how many years later and mm -hmm. I'm on that other end now because okay. at NCV it was pretty much you had to kiss a lot of ass because these are celebrities when I'm so I'm the family of Lungi what you know when you're very positive and you have to kiss a lot of ass mm -hmm. but it helped me because doing that show it hit me after I started to do gossip okay that I actually had an upper hand because I was part of the industry at and you had level actually, yeah. that I was on the inside. So if someone would tell me this, I can easily discern because I was already a part of that industry and I could easily call anybody, verify this, verify this. So yeah, I mean, Q&A, did that for two so, so, so when do you uh, leave NTV? 
Uh, after two years, me and my best friend decided to fall in love and have babies. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I, I can't do Continue TV. the TV thing now. Mm -hmm. So I decided to get off the silver screen per se, given we don't have a silver screen here in UG, but I decided to give it up mm -hmm. and then just raise some babies. Though I still stayed active in, in the media. In the media. That I was means doing radio. Mm -hmm was doing um, voiceover arts because I'm a voiceover artist. Mm. I was doing something with the That then brings me to a question that you are married with children. Not anymore. You're not married? Not anymore. Okay. You... I remember I used to wear that like a badge of honor. Not anymore. Mm. Okay. We so somebody... Have, uh -huh. We have three kids together. We are co-parenting. It's hard. It sucks. I won't pretend everything is fine and dandy, but you get by. Mm. You get back. So somebody watching out there should look out for you because you're single. That's exactly what you're trying to mean. No. Mm. Are you not searching? No. <laughs> Tina, I'm, 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 not <laughs> I'm seeing you. I'm not searching. <laughs> but I you're single. single mm. But I'm not searching. Okay. If a man I'm came, good. possibly the man of your dreams, would you? Yeah. You still open to but love? But I don't even think I know the man of my dreams anymore. Mm. And everyone is going to be like, "But where are you wedding? You wearing an engagement ring?" Mm. Well, I'll tell you the story about this one another time, but, yeah, I'm saying. Well, um, in the recent past, uh, maybe a year or a month ago, you were linked to your producer, who was <laughs> Willis then. I don't know that he still, still is. Still my producer and mm. still my co-host. You were linked to be having an affair, to be having a thing, per se. Oh, God, that was so disturbing. Now, I need, I'm go you're going to be the very first person I give this clarification because mm -hmm. many people have asked and I have never said it out, neither has really said it out. Mm -hmm. Number one, we sold that story to the Kampala Sun ourselves. Reason they wanted the new girl posting scoop to catch a vibe. You're in media. Yeah, yeah. You know we do these things mm -hmm. and you people ate it up, which was a win for us. That's why we don't clarify or need. But yeah, we have never. At so. all, and he happens to be one of my tightest, tightest, closest friends. Not even just here. Mm. You've seen us together. It's it's yeah. home and away. Mm. We're we're good buds. We're best buds. Okay. Uh, for a person, well, who had decided to leave media and perhaps concentrate on family, we are asking: When did you now fall back into the media again? Man, Duke, you know how the media pulls you in. Mm -hmm. You can you can just you can't just say I'm done. Mm -hmm. You can't. One minute I tell someone, tell you come and work on radio. They're like, okay, radio, test me. What? Teddy got TV. No one knows me. And like, mm. But it still manages to pull you in. You just can't say no. So sure. I don't even know how I manage. I'm, I'm, I so, just so, got back. So how then do you get to join Urban? When do you actually get to join Urban? Um, I was on hiatus for I think five years. Mm. Not necessarily on off TV. Mm. It's like about five to six years. Mm. I was off TV. Uh, three babies down the road, mm. I decided to join to go back to radio. So I went to work at Work 100. Okay, of course, for me, the radio bit, you know me. I used to do gigging, you know, I was a feeling. Mm. One day you'll hear my voice on Capital FM, the next yeah, day you'll hear it on another. Because it's still good money. Mm. It's still good money. But then when I got the Hot 100 gig for me, it was now a steady flow gig. Mm. And I gave two years to Hot 100 until... Of your best time. Yeah. Mm. Until one day, uh, my Sabrina, she actually was already working here. Mm. And that's when Mary Luzwata left school. Now, if for those who used to listen to my mid-morning and my breakfast show on um, Hot 100, they knew I would be a better fit because I was already pretty much doing what I'm doing on school, mm. but I was doing it on on radio. On radio, so yeah. It was a perfect fit. She called me and she's like, "Hey, she's left, and they're looking for." A I'd seen them looking for a replacement for quite some time, mm. quite some time. Then I finally decided, "What the hell? Mm. Let me go do this." Let me go do this. Mm. Like, fit, fit, I'm fit, First fit. of all, how did you find the job? One, uh, Mary Luswata had established herself. Yes. as one of those uh, you know goss uh, gossip queens in the country and uh, here you come to mm. fill in do you realize there is somebody that you were you had to compete with here's a situation and mm. this, this i will tell to anybody out there mm. never look as 
for me i don't i never at any one moment looked at it as competition mm. or feel it mm. for me she did what she did, did? You, you, you needed to come and do yours and i'm also doing me and that's the thing if you try to equate yourself to, to someone it's mm. just not going to work just mm. put your best foot forward be who you are how you are and those that appreciate will appreciate it was not easy i remember when when I just started doing school, the negativity was always there. They're like, ah, she's too loud. Mm. Oh my goodness. But then after a while, because they understood I was doing me, I was not trying to be anybody, anybody else but me. Mm. And that's oh, how you did the it. The ones are now just like, yay, that's Tina Wapomo word. Mm. What are the challenges that you've found in the media over the last couple of 14 years and above? I keep telling people this and they think I miss goody two shoes. Mm. I think you only find challenges if you go looking for them. You make life a breeze, an easy breezy, you know? Mm. Walk through the park. If that's your mantra, mm -hmm. trust me. That's how life will be. Like life shakes us up. We're always in the eye of the storm. But try to find peace in your storm. So for me, I found peace in this my storm. Because I understood it's never going to go away. I'm the eye of the storm. So. Uh, somebody is wondering and, and asking, how do you manage to handle, uh, you know, situations of celebrities. One, you're bashing them on air. Yeah. You understand? That mm. could possibly put your life at risk or in danger. It has. It mm. has in so many ways. Mm. Some weird things have happened around me, not necessarily to me. They were intended for me. But you see, when I decided to take up this job, I knew I could handle myself. Mm. I knew I can handle whatever comes with the job. So we're good. Just step up to be just no nangin in Ash Nessica. Chowes is all could joke over all to do whatever you want to do. Manya nangin, she did not. Chenessi boko get up on Gabon, go get up. So win win. Where, first of all, uh, where do you get the gossip that you talk about? Do you do research, do you do, you do I content? I do research. Mm. I have people in the field, but here's the best part about gossip mm. it's the same people who sit with these stars and these celebrities who tell on them and they never know in their own camps they have snitches rats they have you know Takashi six nines in their midst and they don't even know so gossip finds you somehow yeah. somewhere what is that one story that you've ever broken and you feel like okay this one is too big for me to handle how so mm. nothing is too big for Tina Fears I mean, that give me a story about the president that would probably rock an entire free nation. Mm. And it wouldn't be big for me. I'll just throw it there. The way it is. Because there's no need to shoot the court anything. You just throw it there. So could you possibly uh, mention for us one of those stories? Like, you really feel like, okay, this one is big, much as it wasn't big for you. But you felt like, wow. This one? I can't even remember them. Here's the thing about me. Mm. Not that I'm a lightheaded person, no. I can't clutter up so much up here because apart from gossip, mm. I'm a mom of three. Single one at that. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. And then I'm a farmer, I'm all these things. I every color was on Navinji, so I barely remember them. The only time I remember a story is if the legal department calls me and they're like, guess what? Someone else is suing you. I'm like, ah. Which story? Mm. That's the only way I remember that. Mm. So, it, has there been a story that has rocked my world that has been so scandalous? We are a young nation. Our scandals are not that big. Our scandals are not earth shattering. Yes, whatever you have to say, Uganda is shattering. This is a nene nyo. It's not like you'd find out, oh, Monica Lewinsky did this to the president. You get what I'm saying? What mm. do you mean? What do you mean? You get what I'm saying? Mm. Ask Kando here is not that big. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? <laughs> five years. Mm -hmm. When I am two bits about it. In the next five years, I think I may be off the silver screen. Because mm. I I mean I feel like I've given it my shot, I've done my best, and that's just pretty much it. So in the next five years, I have two options. Mm. I'm ever off Ugandan television sets and into all those other things that I do because I'm not just a team. You know us, media, mm. you'll end up being a scriptwriter, producer, director. There's a job for you in almost every, every. corner. Mm. I want to be off the camera 
and behind the camera because I really really want to do production and then I'm may finally take the time out to do a course in the culinary arts because I love to cook I love 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 to cook mm. if those two don't happen then I'm only left with one option which is you'll catch me in Holly you no, had it right you we see a number of you know international entertainment channels like the E t entertainment we have spice mm, uh, many. Uh, 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 aren't you looking at joining one of those because you are good to be honest you are thank you I'm mm. humbled uh, yes I'm looking at joining and anyone would want to join that but there's something about me I like to pass myself mm. I like to pass myself I don't I feel it's not just a given because you're on TV you need to grow mm. the standard of what we do in Uganda mm. in Ugandan TV or the media mm. So probably take some time out, understand how their stuff works, live amongst them, probably walk around them. Anything is possible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, many people have, you know, emulated you. I mean, we've seen different shows on different TVs come up yeah. and try to regurgitate, if I may call it yeah. well. Yeah. You are the gossip uh, people that started <laughs> this. How does that make you feel? Oh, well, I'm humbled. I just wish they could do it to perfection. Like, if I'm going to jack off someone's entire style, mm. I'm going to do it to such perfection, you'll think the actual star of the, who did it mm. is the fraud. You know? Mm. If I'm going to rip off a Dennis Duke, I'm going to do it so well, you'll think Dennis Duke is actually the, the, <laughs> the fraud star. But, mm. that's still in possible, you know? Another person here, another TV star, or give a TV presenter in Sogamba, oh, yo, bichi, bichi, yo, manyi, baba, kabi, wat na. It's a big cake, big cake. Everybody can have a slice. If it pays you, secure your bag. I'm securing mine while you're doing me. Mm -hmm. So why would I have issues with it? Do Ugandan artists or celebrities appreciate uh, the gossip industry? You'd be shocked. I have pretty much, I think, said something. I won't say something bad, because I'm sarcastic most of the times. I have said something well received by particular individuals at some point mm. in time always but you'll be shocked those some in individuals when I say something that they resonate with mm. they have called me they call me personally one on one and they're like hey hi oh it's so, so so yesterday I watched this episode man big up I know Otukuba Otukuma but mm. at times we are learning and it's it's beautiful when you understand that you're not just on TV as a statistic. Mm. I never want to be a statistic. True. I see way too many people on TV in Uganda. And all of them are statistics. They're just another face. After a couple of years, a new face will come. Will come. Mm. It will replace them. The hype will go to them. I never wanted to be a statistic. So that's why everything I do in my life, I go hard or go home. Because I'm never going to be a statistic. For my Luganda speaking audience, mm. to join the media rather. Alcohol. Otio? Uh -huh. So you're telling yeah. people, you're, you're looking into the camera right now, telling a young girl, a young boy, ah. Tina. First of all, mm. a young girl and yeah. a young boy mm. should not be on YouTube mm. at this time. Mm -hmm. You should look for their parents. Mm. It is they are supposed to be using YouTube for kids. Mm -hmm. This is not for kids, mm -hmm. so I will not even be apologetic. So I believe everyone watching would probably be of legal age. Mm, true. That's entirely up to you and your page rules. Me, I mm. think they are all legal age. No, why I say alcohol is because if I hadn't drunk that fateful night, mm. if I hadn't drunk till Kumacha, mm. I would never have made it for that audition. Which means I would never have taken my step towards a journey of a thousand leagues starts with Bagambe Muluganda. So that was me, and take it to get it. So come, so here I am. Nenga, Gwebo Wario Kulabani Abalinga could TV him beside Abio, Tuchimani Swaka Baby, Ariko, Yomuaba Bakskid is over Chichi. Nah, Hatibanko Gamba, Omuntu. 
gwe nali megomba nga ku TV mm jagamba ndi wa lugezi gezi atumumutubuli nchogera almost all my interviews and it's the only thing that reminds me later on when i joined media that kali mwe kali bakuba nali sika manyi nti mwe kali when i was young nga we bamboza t what do you want to be when you grow up i didn't know what they were called at the moment mm -hmm. but i used to always say i want to be ballet francis i didn't know i was a news anchor mm -hmm. and my dad would look at me like mm -hmm. yeah i'm like i want to be him mm -hmm. and i remember when one of my one of the most beautiful things that ever happened to me mm -hmm. was meeting him in person before he passed mm -hmm. i was humbled yo i was you're like those are no runaku te wa te wanaba you know how you people go i'm like katinga gwe bola lukira zan she said it eh mm. i was sweating in my palms i was hyperventilating like for me mm. he it was a huge opportunity for was, you it was a dream come true really. like for me he was and still is, is. And legend. will forever be a legend yes, to you. Legend to me. Mm. I never met a man who would compose himself so well and speak English so perfectly mm. without a quiver. Ah. That, that 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 to me. That's I think how I ended up on TV. Okay. And I wanted to be so proper because I grew up in a home where my grandmother was very very strict about the English that we spoke. Mm. So most people think, oh probably you fake an accent no abana ibanda may not take it it's not a forced accent if you are pronouncing words the word rightly the right way bia ukana kuba singe ri accent kati olganza singanze bwensi otio ngamba banange sikati neri no so bit so bola sip so bola no in my no. in my entire career as a journalist i have tried much as i can to at least um you know train a few people here and there mm -hmm. have you tried it or are you looking at trying it training people in my field absolutely there are people i'm sure there are people who are out there and they look up to you I've thousands been, of I've them been, i've been thinking about it uh, i was watching master class mm -hmm. and my manager uh, came up to me and she's like your teeth we should do a master class i'm like in journalism mm. she's like no not just journalism mm. one thing that most people know about me you i can talk the whole day and you'll mm. never get bored and you will learn so much i have i don't know what it is that i have but i have it mm. so yeah i would like for me i don't want to mentor people in journalism i want to just mentor people mentor people in life you know life life and say no and say no in zibu and bulio maji dinako theory ye na kati nze nze mjirabye kuongeri zona mjirabye yenge nkubye mjirabye yenge mpanise mjirabye yenge is you know stagnant i i just want to motivate people mm. do not be a motivational speaker that's some bullshit because every motivational speaker tells you stuff you can't do they tell you motivational things that can't be done and they know it on the inside that i am giving you a whole bunch of crap because well i can give it to you mm. i don't want to do that i want someone to ask me about engate anasaze wonji skubule chikola antia exactly mm. not telling you stories that perhaps are not even real no nah, they're never real it's just like i never like listening to ceo's talk mm. What are you telling me? You're earning a bigger salary than me. Regardless of me finding out your secret to success, we all have a different path in life. You know, it's like we're living in alternate dimensions. Na yenga tuli mudai mugwanga lieri mu. True. So it's not practical. As 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 you see, 2019 is almost over. We have about uh, three or four months to go. Actually, okay. three. three. Yeah, three. Um, it's 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 a. Uh, it's a question that has come early, but I mean, I, we need to know. Yeah. Who are your best artists in 2019 so far? At least for the last nine months. Nine months is a big bunch of you know, time at least to gauge somebody. Yeah. Who is that artist that has stood out 2019 and you're like, wow. I can't know. Levixon this year. He brought that fire. Mm -hmm. He did not just bring that fire. He brought that gospel fire that touched even us, the secular world. I mean, he gave us an anthem, 
you know mm. turn the replay was an anthem then after that i think i would go with bebe cool mm. reason i am giving it to bebe cool is not because the music is giving us its fire mm. but the tenacity mm. the urge to always want R- to remain bring relevant something new not remain relevant you mm. people need to start looking at it differently mm. people think it's him trying to remain relevant but this is actually him challenging even the people the new artists mm. cuz the energy bebe cool jate come on music with it was to this over the energy bebe cool jate come video ye over bana bana bato abakatani kavalina sente abaina fan base teba jisobola it takes heart for him to sit every day and say you know what lero kambe ku level a sit ku level b for the past 20 something years that is a man you should commend okay that is a man you should respect and it goes to him it goes to Chameleon too they have given their best to show you for us it wasn't that just wanted the fame it wasn't that we just wanted um the, the, the we didn't just want what comes with it for them it was actually music was their life mm. uh, as we wind up omuntu ala basawa zino njagalo muwe mukoku perhaps some encouraging words a young lady young man out there who has possibly lost hope in life as we wind up your only is hopeless as you choose to be so chiba gambira and the only thing chance of simanyi chogera mu Uganda naye ngenda geza kuna yakan sokere mu luzungu mm bobanga wagenda ko kusomera wali was something to about um, the laws of science you know how gravity works Isaac Newton's laws of you know mm. this world is a cosmic energy what you send out is what is you what get. you receive yeah in equal measure let's put it back in science kuba mutayinzo gambo na limu bya ba buddha bya ba ni ebyo no let's use just science mm. science alone will tell you for every equal reaction for every equal action mm. is an equal opposite reaction bozu kuka kuma changa go sazewo binenye trust me nigenda kule when you wake up and affirm it to yourself with faith and say yes it's a bad day, mm. but i'm going to get through this you will be shocked chikoleka what you give off the energy you give off chokola ba duke nawe bo yingira mu room ngo sanza abantu bonanga baba de basoka basanyu no yingira mu ngo oli mu nyivu nabali mu room basoka ne bakola ne basirika ne basirika that's the energy nena abu jeno be gatako ngo oli mu sanyu nabo kati bakuwa the energy yawe that's why people say it survive keep that vibe about you and never let anyone or anything make you feel like you're less than anything in this world you can aspire to be anything just be practical okay don't use this nonsense of i can be anything in the world and not work towards, towards what it. you want perfect thank you so much tina fierce for uh, you know uh, giving us your time tina fierce we mm-hmm. we forgot to get something are you a muganda you're a mnyankole you're a muchiga which tribe are you i am a proud daughter of kavalega from hoima pabalina oiro kama mwino kwa katangu ndio tsegera yes i'm a mnyoro exactly <laughs> that that brings us to the end of this particular segment my name is denish duke like i told you this month and going forward i'll be hooking up with your different celebrities around town and trying to get their stories of where they've been how they've managed to make it in life so that you may also be able to learn a few things here and there and make your life a better one once again it's a goodbye from us hey people my name is tina fierce one and of course you are watching none other than my boy dennis duke aliwana abafera na yabayamba yo Click on that subscribe button. I'm in big things again. Ra ra